Meanwhile, after the shooting, we saw students rise up, making their voices heard and calling for gun control legislation. Our Washington, D.C. Bureau reporter, Samantha Joe Roth, joins us now live from Capitol Hill with a look at what has and hasn't happened with those laws. Well, Sharon, one year later, survivors and families of those lost have been calling for more restrictive gun laws and more aggressive school safety practices. And this has been a relentless push for change, even though it's not necessarily been in the headlines. It's really hard. It's really hard to understand that this happened. A year is like nothing. And at the same time, it's a lot. It's been 365 days since Patricia Oliver learned her son, Joaquin, was gunned down in the hallway of his high school. Now she says she's coping the only way she knows how. We have to do something. Oliver is not alone. Survivors and families of those lost have made names for themselves on Capitol Hill by sharing their stories. She was murdered last week and she was taken from us. Participating in roundtables, marching on Washington, testifying before Congress. It's completely changed my life. Alea Eastman hid beneath a dead classmate to shield herself from the shooter's bullets. She says she's disappointed federal lawmakers have not made any changes to gun laws. It seems like it's been ignored for decades. But House Democrats are working to change that. Just last week, the House held its first hearing on gun violence in nearly a decade. Congressman Ted Deutsch says it's a small step forward. That debate never would have happened had it not been for the advocacy of, of so many people across the country, starting with those in South Florida. Those bills face an uncertain future in the Republican-controlled Senate. I'm focused on the legislation that actually keeps our schools safe. Several of the parents have publicly described what happened a year ago today as the most avoidable mass murder in American history. And that's why survivors and families say they'll continue to fight. The pain doesn't go away. You miss every single thing about Joaquin. We miss him in every single aspect. Now, the House Judiciary Committee just recently approved a pair of bills that would expand federal background checks to firearms purchases. That bill now heads to the House floor. We're live on Capitol Hill this evening. Samantha Jo Roth, Spectrum News 13.